I already make sure, I didn't check if my lash glue dried properly. It's your favorite series from TikTok. I have more eyeshadows and pigments and I'm very, very excited. If you're new here, hi, my name is Miss Megan Robinson and I had a series on TikTok that was very popular where I went through really old, really discontinued, really expired MAC makeup that A, I was obsessed with, B, I think should come back, and C, just products that we all loved. Watch the 100 part series over on TikTok. I have some new product that has never been on TikTok. This is special for YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. If you wanna see what MAC product I have, please keep watching. Let's start with the eyeshadow. Truce, shut the fuck up. Okay, so there's a part of me, <laughs> I love it. There's a part of me that's like, this immediately has to come back, but TBH kind of looks like cozy gray, like the current cozy gray. Oh, there's a bit of sheen to it. Oh, that's so nice. Is it a satin? It's a satin. Truce eyeshadow. I just love cool tone makeup. Poison pen? That's a matte. Matte squared? Yeah, matte squared. What does that even mean? I still to this day don't even know. Is it like the... Like I didn't understand the squared part, um, but to me it's like the retro matte of mattes. That's so nice. Kind of like a deeper, more purpley seam. And just like the rain, you cast the dust into nothing. Oh, oh, guess what it is? You're gonna be upset. It's pink freeze. With the slightest, Ugh, that actually really is nice. But I feel like, oh, no, there's not a current color. It's kind of giving like Love Yourself Liquid Dazzle Shadow, but not. Hepcat, I've heard of this. That's a beautiful color. Don't look at me that way. Beautiful color. Frost. It's like Cranberry and Star Violet. Look at these together as a quad. Are you kidding? That's very juicy fake i'm obsessed that that's the name can i get fake eyeshadow please brought in espresso mix oh there is so much smoky gray this is a beautiful shadow oh oh add this to the list of stuff that needs to come back okay wait lower your voice put it on just a little through the crease. Begging to own these. I'm begging. I want these to be mine forever. Huh. Au contraire. That is a purple. That is a purple. Like, that's the purple that people want. It's like violet pigment. It's dark enough, it's purple enough, and it just has the right balance of like shimmer and matte, what is it, a frost? That is a purple. Like dark room in comparison is like really violet, like bright. This is a bag of cool colors. I take that back, full flame. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Luster, velvet, velvet. I was gonna say luster because it's like a matte that has the chunky sparkle in it. That's so pretty. It's a little bit of glitter and it's kind of muted. <gasps> I love it. Oh, these look so nice. Parsley, sage. I'm not touching that one, I can't. It looks too perfect. I can't do it. My God. Sweeten up. This one looks too perfect too. This looks like Paradisco. This is such a spring lineup. Nehru, Nehru, Nehru. Was it blue? I forgot about this color. Like such a dark, yeah. It's like a really deep bluish gray. Oh, I love it. That was actually a really good color. Why'd you take that away? Velvet moss. <laughs> That's so green. To me, like when somebody says, like somebody said a color to you in your head, you have a vision of what that color is, right? This is the green. If you say green to me, 
This is exactly, it's stuck on my finger. This is exactly the green that I'm thinking about. I have this shadow. This is one of the most beautiful eyeshadows, Patina and Vex. Vex still exists, Patina does not. Patina Vex Honesty, look at that color. It's the most like underrated, this with sandstone and carbon, please. One of the most like beautiful, look at it against me. One of the most beautiful, cool, brassy, bronzy, goldeny, silvery, so good. There's four pigments in this bag. Spiritualize, look at the old pigment containers. Oh, good Lord. 2008, Spiritualize. I don't have any memory of this color, brand new. So nice with patina. <gasps> I love pigments. Pigments were like the first thing that caught my attention because it was like, it was such a multi-use product. I was like, that is art. That is artistry. Nobody wants this amount of product. Like the regular consumer, soft wash gray. Oh, I think I remember this one. Nobody wants that amount of product. Oh, that is beautiful. That's like the OG pigment formula. Oh my God, I just love, look at those three. I just love pigment so much. Copper beam, kind of looks like antiqued eyeshadow. That is a rich, rich chocolate. So thick, like there was something about the, like the original, original pigments like the feel of them is so specific. Beautiful. I feel like pigments could come in like, a, not even the, the container size that they like technically are now. I could feel like they could be like half the size. Gold Stroke, 2007. This looks like Sable. Yeah, it's kind of Sable-ish, yeah. Sable Satin Taupe. So that's where I can understand why, again, like why some things don't stay, still existed side by side. Someone's gonna pick Sable eyeshadow over a giant tub of pigment, even though like it was just so iconic. These are iconic. These ones here are the twist off. But there's the eyeshadows that have the MAC line through it. And then it went these. And then I think it did the like open top ones. Bark, the brush because my hands are wet. That is a Miss Megan color. This is the smokiness that I want. And like some people would look at that and be like, oh my God, it's so faded, it's not brown enough. It's okay, we don't want it to be brown. We want it to be smoky. Camel, That what formula was that? Matte. Ooh, this would be like, ooh. This would be my ultimate base color. This would be like what brulee was for me before. Suede, it's giving saddle and like texture. Saddle, saddle. Mm -mm -mm. Scrumptious. Black gold, it has the faintest gold sparkle in it. It's so crazy how that like dusting of glitter can get in there. You can't really see it on but i can imagine if you packed it on like black tide existed and beauty marked existed and they had like so much glitter in them but they were such a cool packing shade you would never blend those i just want i just want cool cool undertones to come back Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this walk down memory lane. Let me know what makeup product you would just die for if it was to come back. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite way to use a loose pigment was or is if you still do it. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Also find me on TikTok and Instagram under Miss Megan Robinson. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.